Oh, gee, Joe, I'm sorry. <sighs> I'm out of breath. Sorry that I'm late here this morning. I was busy fending off all your fans trying to get here to a morning announcements. And by all your fans, I mean, um, I guess stuck talking to your mom this morning. Well, at least I have a fan. Well, I guess that's a point well taken. We welcome you to this Friday morning edition of the announcements. I'm Mr. Nelson, joined by Joe. And we have plenty of announcements for you here this Friday morning as we get set for a weekend. Some snow in the forecast tonight. Thumbs up to that. Let's get to the announcements right now. Happy birthday tomorrow to Jonathan Jones and Chase Paul. And have, happy birthday on Sunday to Ada, Ada Holyoke. This week is Teacher and Staff Appreciation Week. So make sure to email or send a note to your teachers to show that you appreciate them. Or you can give an electronic hug. Well, with that being said, Joe, how about a real hug? Sorry, I'm practicing social distancing. Boy, that's a kick to the gut here this morning. Okay, I guess I'll move on with that being said. We'll go to Counseling Services. As Ms. Martin, for seniors, she has sent you an email, and it's a big one because it deals with senior scholarships. You need to go check your emails, follow the link, and complete the survey by tomorrow. That's May 9th, so you have today and you have tomorrow to finish the survey. There are plenty of scholarships out there for you, but if you don't apply, you're not gonna get in on any of the funding. So please make sure you do that as the uh, scholarship committee will hold their meeting next week. Now juniors, a few announcements for you. Next Thursday, May 14th at seven o'clock, Miss Martin and Miss Mallet will be conducting a junior class meeting via Google Hangouts. And again, you have been emailed all this information. Parents, you're strongly encouraged to attend as well with your junior over the Google Hangout. Things that'll be covered, college application, that process. Also, letters of recommendation, the SATs, and much, much more. It would behoove you to attend this meeting. Again, it is next Thursday, seven o'clock. If you have any questions, email your counselor and they'll be sure to get back to you. The Burns Johnson Tennis Complex will be open for public use unless it is signed up by the boarding students. Physical distancing must be practiced and no more than 10 people are allowed on the court at a time. At the moment, the basketball courts are closed. Out of 50 plus key clubs in New England, Ethan Curtis has been selected as the 2019-2020 Outstanding Officer. It is quite an honor for, and a first for Foxtoff Academy. Congratulations to Kelly Black, who is the president of the National Honor Society for the 2020-2021 school year. Back on the academic side of things, Foxcroft Academy Online will continue now through June 5th, so make sure you're getting your work done as you see stuff pop up in your Google Classrooms. Get it done as this work will be assessed and go towards your fourth quarter grade. Remember, a couple of things with some words of advice, make sure you talk to your teachers. Talk to your counselors if you're having a problem with a class or two because these grades do matter. If you get your work done, if you show effort, that will be rewarded in your final grade. If you don't and decide you're not going to do some work with some of your certain with certain classes, you may have some unmet standards and that means you'd have to repeat the class or have to pick up those standards either in the summer or over next year as well. So help yourself out and get your work done right now. Also a reminder that the campus is closed here at Foxcroft Academy. Our dorm students are sheltering in and they're on campus at this very time. The track is available, but not between the hours of 2 and 7 p.m. all week long. So Monday through Sunday, the track is closed from 2 to 7. Students in the public, you are not allowed near the dormitories right now here at Foxcroft Academy. The breakfast lunch pickup will occur once a week on Mondays from 12 to 2 p.m. at the same places except for at Foshoff Academy, where it will be from 12 to 1. You'll be able to pick up six breakfasts and six lunches. Students, if you have weak or little internet right now, Mr. Brown, Mr. Rotano, and our IT department, they've helped you out as we set up drive-through locations or drive-in locations for internet around our service area. Those locations include the Monson Historical Society, the Charleston Church, the town office in Sebec and Harmony Elementary School. Simply bring your school issue device, drive in, it'll connect to the Foxcroft Academy network. You can submit work, you can do work, you can use the online Wi-Fi and make sure you get your work done. If you have any questions, you can email our IT department. They can help you out, but it's a great service. It may not be right at your doorstep, but it's pretty close. So thank you very much to our IT department for helping us out. Students, we would like to share your good news. College acceptances, employment plans, or military plans, Email Miss Weatherby if you would like to share. 
With that being said, we want to congratulate our boarding students here at Foxcroft Academy. Last evening, we held a graduation ceremony for our boarding students that are here on campus and also ones that have already gone home at this point due to the COVID-19 crisis. It was a well done ceremony. It is on YouTube. You can see the link on our Facebook page. It's also on Twitter and it'll be up on our website very shortly as well. But you'll have a chance to relive the graduation ceremony last night with some of your friends. You can see it uh, on tape from YouTube and we want to thank everybody that was involved with that last evening. Flashoff Academy will not have any public hours. Please call or email if you have any questions or concerns. Students, if you need any guidance services over the time that we're away, just email your counselor and they'll get back to you as soon as they can. And also, if you or your family are in need of any assistance, please contact us here in the main office and we'll do the best we can to help you. So that's another edition of the morning announcements here on this Friday, May 8th. And we save disappointing news for last, Joe. I'm sorry to disappoint you here as we leave, but there are no Friday funnies with Mr. Shorey. Wait, that's sad. With that being said, he's Joe. I'm Mr. Nelson. Have a good weekend.